Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to see how we can insert a video into your Figma prototyping. So without any further ado, let's get started. But wait, before we get started, we want to see what we're going to build today, right? So let's quickly have a demo before that and then we can get started. So jumping right on the screen here, I have my prototype ready. So this is just a small video player module uh, just to showcase how to insert a video in Figma. So here I have a play button and once I click on that, you can see how smoothly the video runs. And you also have this uh, indicator which moves on the bottom and then it uh, finally gets onto the replay mode state. So that's a pretty neat animation uh, to show in different projects where you need uh, basically to show a video. So let's quickly jump onto Figma and see how to build this. So here we are on Figma and I have a new project uh, with the video player here. So I won't be showing you how to create this whole UI because this video is mainly focused on uh, how to insert the video. But this is pretty simple. Uh, I just have a thumbnail here which basically has the first image. And then you have a video container which I'll be talking about in the next artboard. And then you have a play button that we're gonna click. And then I have a footer controls group which basically has the play button. And then you have the full screen icon. And then you have this transparent bar here. And then let me just zoom in. Here you have the complete uh, timeline and this is for showing the increment so those are the different things and I also have a replay button which basically comes in the last state so those are the different uh, objects or layers that are present in this whole artboard so let me just quickly duplicate this artboard here and then we can create the next state which uh, basically uh, you want to remove the thumbnail so I'll make the opacity of this zero and then you want to bring in your video container so I'll just uh, make this visible and then you want your play button to go away so I'll turn the opacity of this to zero then I want my controls to just uh, slide down let me just bring this down so that only the timeline is visible so that looks cool and I also want these controls here to fade away so I'll make that opacity zero so now everything looks good so we want another state for this that is basically to insert the video I'll explain that in detail uh, going ahead so let me just duplicate this and in this state you want your uh, playhead or your timeline to increase so I'll select the thing here uh, and increase it to let's say 1280 so I've increased it to 1280 here and that is all what we need in this scenario here and let me just duplicate this once more uh, I'll be showing you how to insert the video also uh, after creating all the states so in the final state what you want to do is uh, just turn off your video player and then you want to bring in your thumbnail back again because that is the replay state and obviously you want the replay button to come into picture turn the opacity of that also on and then you want your controls to pop in so that looks good and also your play button and your full screen icon 200% opacity so now that all your icons and all your uh, animation states are set so we have four states here so now that everything is set here now is the point where we want to add the video so we are going to add the video for this container here and for that we are going to use a plugin named as anima so for that just go to menu and go to plugins i've already installed it so that's where it's been shown here but it's pretty simple just go to manage plugins if you don't find it and you will have it on your feature uh, featured plugins and in case you don't find it here just go to browse all plugins and just search for anima and you can just install it pretty simple so moving back to the project here uh, as I've already installed it I'll just go to plugins and select anima so this is the box that you see once you select your plugin and uh, the very first time you open it you will have a sign in uh, so just go ahead and sign up you can create it for free and basically uh, upload I think up to two projects or three projects in your free plan so just go ahead and sign up and you will be able to sign in here and let me just create a new project here basically I've already created you just need to click on new project and give your name and that will create a new project for you so I already created a project called as video player and once you have selected your player here the next thing what you need is to upload a video so you can upload it on any place like uh, YouTube anywhere so as of now I'll just search for sample videos here and these are some sample videos that you can find on Google and I'll just go ahead and select one here and right click copy link and that would give me the link of the video 
all I gotta do is just click the container here and you have an option called as video gif or latte just click on that and paste your video link and click on autoplay because I don't want to click uh, play because I've already clicked it on the prototype and then you want to loop it and no controls cover the whole shape so you can check all of these it's good and just save it so we are done inserting the video and now all we are going to do is is prototype this particular design and then we can uh, basically preview it so for that I'll go into the prototype mode here so in the prototype state you want the play button to animate to the next state here so I link it to the next artboard and then smart animate looks good ease out is fine 300 milliseconds is good and here is where the trick comes into picture so I inserted the video only in the third artboard that is because you want a intermediate stage here because we want to increase the playhead here so that is the reason I put it on the third stage so in from the second stage you want it to animate to the next one but that should continue for five seconds because you want the playhead and the video to run so I make this as five seconds which is basically 5000 milliseconds and make sure that it is on linear because a video or a time uh, if you see a video running it won't be in, in an ease in and ease out motion so that is why you want to do it a linear animation and then everything looks good so the video runs and then you can animate this one to the next one uh, smart animate looks good you can give ease out here and we will change this to to 300 uh, milliseconds now we are done uh, creating the prototyping here so let's see a preview of the prototype first in figma and then we can see how to put it on anima and see along with the video so i select the artboard and i click on the preview option here so our figma preview is ready so once i click on the playhead here uh, so something is wrong here so let's go back to our file here and see what's wrong so i think uh, we gave a click trigger here so if i'm not wrong yeah so if you can see uh, the second and the third artboard here i gave it as a click but we need to give a delay and see that it automatically jumps to the next state so i want to change this delay to 100 milliseconds so i think now everything looks good so again let's go ahead and preview it so here we are on first state i click on play button you can see the playhead moving in a linear motion which is good and once that is done again we missed to do it for the third state also my bad so i click here i go to the third link here and i would say after delay of again say 100 milliseconds so i hope this time it's right so I go ahead and click preview I say play here we get to see the playhead moving and we reach on the final replay mode so everything looks good so far and all we gotta do is and one more thing before we move on to anima is just click on the first artboard and set it as a home page because you basically want to say anima that this is the first page that you want to see once you preview it so now everything looks good just select all your artboards and say preview in browser and just wait for it to upload your project to the anima site so that would take a couple of seconds here so there you go it's done and you get a message saying that your draft is ready just click on open here and that would open your prototype in the browser so here we have a prototype ready so i hope everything works fine so I just go ahead and click on the play option here and the video runs smoothly and you have your playhead moving and we return to the replay mode finally. So pretty simple. So that's how we can add a video uh, to Figma and you can actually add uh, GIF animations and all to Figma directly but video is something they have not included so this is how you can do it. So hope you like the video. And as always if you like the video please give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon thanks for watching